All right, welcome back everybody to the deep dive. And you know, uh, we're here on the HIV RNA test guide podcast. That's right. For those of you just tuning in, we are, you know, your trusted source for everything about HIV testing. It's blue with over 4,500 testing labs all across the United States. That's right. So we know that you're looking for real information, really like the forefront of what's happening with HIV, and that's what we try to bring you. That's our mission. Every single week. Exactly. Today, we're going to dive deep into two of the most... I guess you could say buzzy approaches to maybe ending the HIV epidemic yes. through vaccination. Big topic. Huge, huge topic. And these are mRNA vaccines and then AGT-103T. Yeah, these are the ones that are really kind of making a lot of noise right now. Yeah, and you know, for years, an effective HIV vaccine has felt like this pipe dream. Oh, totally, like a distant hope. Yeah, it just felt so far off. And now there are these two very different strategies, but they're generating real excitement. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what we want to kind of suss out today. Okay, which one, you know, has more promise? Could they potentially be used together? Right. And is one of them showing a clear advantage? Those are the big questions, yeah. Yeah, so over the course of this deep dive, I think what we want to do is really break down the science behind both of these candidates. Okay. I want people to walk away understanding not only how they work, right. but really grasping how these advancements could directly impact their lives or the lives of people they care about. Absolutely. Um, and you know, the broader fight against HIV. It's a big deal, and I think it's important to keep in mind, like, the current context, too, right? I mean, yeah. we've made huge strides in HIV prevention with PARI-P. Right. We've got antiretroviral therapies now right. that allow people to live long and healthy lives. Yeah. And we've got incredible testing methods now, like the HIV RNA test, which, you know, a lot of you listening are probably familiar with yeah. through, you know, this platform and everything. But a really, truly effective vaccine, that's, like... Yeah. The missing piece. The missing piece, yeah. That could completely change how we approach this epidemic. Right, so let's get into it. All right, let's do it. I think it makes sense to start with what people are probably the most familiar with at this point, and that's the mRNA vaccines. Okay, makes sense. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be coming to this thinking about the COVID-19 vaccines. Right, exactly. So how do mRNA vaccines work when we apply them to HIV? So at a basic level, it's very similar. Okay. It's about delivering instructions, right? Yeah. We're talking messenger RNA. That's what mRNA stands for. Okay. And it's like sending a blueprint to your cells, mm. teaching them to produce like harmless little pieces of the HIV virus. Okay. So not the whole virus, just these tiny fragments. Got it. And so what are those pieces? Like what would be an example of a fragment? So think of it like you know, the envelope proteins, those are on the surface of the virus. Yeah, okay. Those are like key identifiers, right? Yeah. So your body makes these harmless little pieces. Right. And then what What happens? Your immune system kicks in. Okay. It's like, hold on, what are these new proteins? Yeah. These don't belong here. And it starts building defenses. Okay. So it starts making antibodies that can specifically target the virus. Right. But it also trains T cells. Okay. Those are like the assassins of your immune system. Yeah. They go after infected cells. So then later on, if you actually encounter HIV. Right. Your body's like, wait a second. I know you. I've seen this before. Exactly. Okay. It's like boot camp for your immune system. I like that, like a training. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we know, like, you know, Moderna, for example. Right. They've been really heavily involved in developing an HIV mRNA vaccine. Yeah, I mean, they're leveraging that success they had with the COVID-19 vaccines, right? Right, yeah. They've got the platform, the mRNA platform. Yeah. And now they're like, okay, let's apply this to HIV. But it's got to be way more complicated, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, HIV is way more complex than a coronavirus. Way more complex. It's like, you know, the coronavirus is a bicycle and HIV is a supersonic jet. Okay, so HIV has all these ways to evade the immune system. Totally. And that's why it's been so hard to develop a vaccine. Right, exactly. So what what are, I guess, some of the main advantages of this mRNA approach when we're talking about HIV? Well, one of the big ones is speed, right? Okay. We saw how quickly they were able to develop mRNA vaccines for COVID. Right. So the potential is there to do the same for HIV. Yeah. At least in terms of the initial development. Okay. And then the other thing is adaptability. The HIV mutates like crazy, right? Yeah. So if we need to tweak the vaccine, mRNA gives us the ability to do that much quicker right. than with traditional methods. And the other big one is safety. Huge, sure. yeah. You're, you're not injecting the actual virus. Right. Just a blueprint. So the risk of getting infected from the vaccine is super low. 
Okay, but we've been talking about how hard it is to create an HIV vaccine. Right. So what are the scientists running into with this mRNA approach? Well, you hit the nail on the head, right? Yeah. HIV is a master of disguise. It's constantly changing, yeah. mutating, evolving. And so developing an mRNA vaccine for HIV, mm -hmm. it's not like creating a key for one lock. Right. It's like needing a master key that can open thousands of slightly different locks. I see. Every mutation is a new lock. Okay. And the vaccine has to be broad enough to cover all that variability. Yeah, that makes sense. And the other thing is, we're starting to think that just antibodies might not be enough. Okay. You need to activate those killer T cells too. Those are like the special forces. Right. So the vaccine has to do a lot. Yeah, and it's like that Snapchat filter analogy, right? Oh yeah, I love that one. Like you're showing the body a picture. Right. But if the virus keeps changing its face, that picture is not so useful. Exactly. The immune response have to be able to recognize HIV no matter what filter it's using. I like that. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. Okay. We've talked about mRNA. Let's talk about AGT-103T. All right. This is where it gets really futuristic. Right. This is like gene therapy. Yeah. We're talking about reprogramming your body at uh, a genetic yeah. level. So how does that even work with HIV? Okay. So instead of just teaching the immune system about the virus, right. we're going in and modifying the immune cells themselves. Okay specifically the T cells. So instead of training them, we're basically... Upgrading them, yeah. Upgrading them. We're giving them new genetic material, making them super soldiers. And what's really interesting about this one, right, is that it's designed to not only target the virus that's a actively replicating, right. but also those hidden reservoirs of the virus. Oh, the latent virus. Yeah, which is a huge barrier to a cure. Huge. That's like the holy grail, right? Right. Getting rid of that latent reservoir. Yeah. That's what's standing in the way of a cure. So how does this whole AGT 103T thing even work? Okay. So first, they take some of your blood. Okay. They isolate the T cells. Okay. Then in a lab, they do this really cool thing. They insert new genetic material into those T cells. Uh -huh. And that new material basically gives the T cells superpowers. Like what, like what kind of superpowers are we talking about? Well, for one, they become more resistant to HIV infection. Okay. And they also get better at recognizing and destroying infected cells. So they're just like better at their job. Way better. They're like elite assassins and then they put these super t cells back into your body yeah, yeah and they go to work so it's not just boosting your immune system yeah it's yeah. like giving it a whole new weapon exactly it's like you know instead of giving soldiers better training you give them like futuristic armor and laser guns that's a good analogy right yeah so they can really take on hiv and so the hope is that these super t cells can control the virus long term yeah maybe even get us to a functional cure exactly where you don't need to be on medication every day. That would be amazing. That's the dream, right? Yeah. And we have seen some good early results. Yeah. They've done phase I trials in humans. Yeah. Showed it was safe and that it does trigger an immune response. So those modified T cells, they're doing their thing. They're surviving. They're functioning. That's great. It's exciting. But, you know, it is a really cutting edge therapy. Oh, yeah. Super cutting edge. And it's not without its challenges. For sure. I mean... One of the biggest things is just the cost. Right. Gene therapy is expensive. Yeah. And it's complicated. You're talking about personalized treatment. It's not like making a pill. Right. It's like creating a custom made suit of armor for each person. Yeah. And even though the early trials are promising. Right. We still need a lot more research. Right? Yeah, absolutely. We need bigger trials, longer trials. Yeah. We need to see how well it works in the long run. So if mRNA is like showing the body a picture of the virus, like a wanted poster. I like that analogy. GGT-103T is more like. It's like building an army, right? Yeah. Training your immune system to be this elite fighting force that can target HIV and wipe it out. Okay. So we have these two totally different strategies. Two very different approaches. How do we even compare them? All right. Well, let's break it down. Okay. So first... Their goals are different. Okay. mRNA, that's all about prevention. Right. Stopping you from getting infected in the first place. Yeah. AGT-103T, that's about treatment. Okay. It's for people who already have HIV. Okay. And how are they given? Well, mRNA is an injection. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Like a flu shot. Exactly. AGT-103T is a much more involved process, right? Yeah. You have to have those T cells extracted, modified, and then put back in. Okay. And what about speed? mRNA has the potential to be developed and scaled up really quickly. Right. We saw that with COVID. Exactly. AG2103T. Because it's personalized, it's going to take longer. And I would imagine that cost is a big difference. Huge difference. Yeah. mRNA vaccines, if they work, 
they should be relatively affordable. Okay. AG2103T, because it's so personalized, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, so mRNA is like the broad approach. Right, it's like a vaccine for everyone. And AG2103T is... It's like a personalized treatment, it's tailored to you. Yeah, so which one's better? Well, it depends what you're trying to achieve. Right. Do you want to prevent new infections? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to cure people who are already living with HIV? And where are we in terms of like progress? So mRNA HIV vaccines, they're in early clinical trials. Okay. AGT103T has completed phase I trials. So it's a little bit further along. A little bit, but both still have a ways to go. So it's not like one is clearly better than the other. No, they're both really promising, but they're just different. They're just different tools for different jobs. Exactly. So what can people listening do right now? Well, the best thing you can do is stay informed about HIV, get tested regularly, know your status. And for those of you who are looking for quick, confidential, affordable, reliable HIV RNA testing, we have over 4,500 testing labs. That's right. Across the US. Nationwide. You can go to www.hivrntestguide.com. Yeah, find a lab near you. Find a lab, get tested, knowledge is power. Absolutely. Especially when it comes to HIV. And don't forget about pre-EP, that's another powerful tool we have right now. Right, prevention is key. It is. We're working towards a cure, but we have to use all the tools we have right now. Couldn't agree more. So this has been a really interesting deep dive. Yeah, it's fascinating to see how science is tackling this virus. So I wanna leave you with a question. Okay. Which approach are you more excited about? Right. Are you team mRNA? Team prevention. Team AGT-103T. Team Cure. Or do you think it's going to take both? Or team both, yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, we want to hear what you think. And before you go, please like this video, subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any future deep dives. Yes. Subscribe. And share this episode with anyone who you think would benefit from this information. Absolutely. Hit that notification bell so you know when we post new content. Ding, ding, ding. And in our next deep dive, we're going to be looking at the latest... HIV vaccine trials to watch in 2025. Oh, that's going to be good. So stay tuned for that. Looking forward to it. Until then, stay informed, stay safe, and stay strong. We'll see you next time. See you next time.